is Latia for you this is a video on my experiment with cones um, first I'd like to say as a warning please keep in mind I do not use cones in my hair regimen I only use them when I'm styling my hair for about one to three days and that's usually around once a month cones can lead to dryness when left on the hair for an extended amount of time and this loss of moisture can lead to breakage because it seals the water out of the hair this dryness can also occur during washing goals and protective styling so just keep that in mind and also note this is your hair you can do what the heck you want to to it so don't don't let anyone tell you otherwise all right so the first part of this video is just me showing you the best hair to do this on and this is basically the CG method the curly girl method um, where you leave the conditioner in um, this is hair this is a twist uh, set that has been washed it's all drawn up that's why I'm pulling on it and showing you basically how the hair is this is the following twist out that I did um, on the hair it's very drawn up very springy the reason why i do it on this type of hair is because my hair does not define curls well without a lot of manipulation so usually if i do some sort of wash and go it's on hair like this that has been washed it's a twist out set that has been washed so that way I get better definition otherwise I don't get as much definition it just becomes basically just a full afro so um, this is how I start this is the prep hair Okay, so the conditioner that I used was the Totally Twisted Curls and Waves Conditioner by Herbal Essences. It smells so good. Um, the, the gel that I used was the ISO Plus Styling Gel, and I'll explain why I used that one a little bit later. This is my hair. On the first day, it's still wet. It stayed wet for a good amount of time, but not as long as the Kinky Curly Curling Custard. It really dried a lot better than that. And as it dries, the hair looks a little bit better. The conditioner goes away a lot better. And it gets better with more applications over the days. This is just the front of my hair slicked down with the Eco Styler and how bad it turned out. But I'll explain that later. Enjoy the video. Hi, YouTube. This is Latia for you. I'm back. Um, this is the second day. I really like it. I'm pleased with the results. I washed it again this morning. I braided it into like five big chunky braids with the conditioner. Then when I got out of the shower, I, um, I let the braids sit in for maybe like 10 minutes. And I took them loose and went outside and shook my head for about five seconds. And then came back in and this is the result. I did put the, um, the clamps. A clamp in there just because the front mm, it looks cute but I ended up um, apple cider vinegar rinsing this part because I put gel on it yesterday I put that eco styler styling gel and it does not mix with the conditioner it makes white residue and you might be able to see some of it here's some it makes like a white residue so um, pretty much I just decided to use a different gel today I use the ISO Plus uh, styling gel. I like this gel. Um, so, and it smells really good. I like stuff that smells good. So, um, yeah, the top is a little frizzy because I didn't go through all the parts with the uh, conditioner, but it's all good. I like it still. And um, I just put the hair clamp uh, in there. One of the big, big hair clamp, the black hair destroyers, as Shima says in her um, video. That video is hilarious. If you have not seen the black hair destroyer video, that is so funny. She's going to get you if she sees you on the street with this stuff in your hair. So watch your back. Anyway, um, I this is my last video update. The rest will be pictures because I am not doing a video at the hotel. So this is it. I'm very pleased with the results. I'll probably do this maybe once every three months if I want to do a shingle style because shingling just takes 
way too long. I don't like the how long it's wet. And to me, this dries a little longer than my hair would if it were shingled. If I shingle this, if I shingle my hair, it will come out looking like this for probably the first hour. And then after like two or three hours, it will just shrink up and the very end will be like curly like this. So, I mean, I like this. At least it gives me a little bit of length. I can pull on it and, you know, reshape it and it dries pretty fast. It's not completely dry right now. The perimeter is dry, but the roots are still a little bit wet. But for me, it's, it's been like three hours. So that's good enough. Like the fact that it's almost getting to being dry. So that's pretty much it. I just wanted to give you guys an update and the rest will be pictures. Bless. So this is how my hair turned out. I really absolutely loved it. We went to the concert. We went to the Black Star Talib Kweli Mostef concert and it was so fun. My hair was so great and amazing. I will definitely be doing this maybe once every three months or so. Um, the hair got better each day. I just kept braiding it in chunky braids and um, putting the conditioner in and leaving a lot of the conditioner in my hair every day and shaking it out. So I really enjoyed it and thank you all for watching. Um, you can rate, comment, subscribe, rate, comment, and subscribe. And um, I will check you guys later. Above the video above is my last link check and I'll also be doing a link check later this month for my third nap anniversary. Yay! So, um, yeah, it's been really fast, but you guys um, take care and be blessed. Bye.